So how did I land two new listings this week? We're gonna talk about that coming up. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. Hey, if you're a new agent or just thinking about getting into the real estate business, you may wanna hit that subscribe button down below because I talk about real estate every week. Now, I'm not sure what market you're in if you're watching this video, but the market down here in Texas is fierce and you better be on your A game if you wanna get some listings. Yeah, even though it's a seller's market, the sellers are still gonna be picky of the real estate agents that they wanna to use to sell their home. And if you've been doing things correctly, like I always talk about in here, like doing your, your videos, putting those out there on Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn and Instagram, you know, all over social media, then you may not even have to solicit to get those listings. Now, one key factor of being a real estate agent is communication and communicating with your buyers and sellers is so important, especially uh, with these sellers. These sellers are, are seeing homes just flying off the market within days. And if you have a listing and yours is not doing that, well, guess what? You're gonna look like you're not doing your job. And if you're not communicating with that seller, they're really gonna think you're not doing your job. So just a little bit over a, a week ago, I got a call from, from a client who is, who is now a client that had their home listed for a few months and, and everything was kind of slow. Um, so they called me, of course they've, they've seen, you know, my videos, they, they know me from, from Facebook and YouTube and they called me and just kind of get my opinion of, of the market and everything. And I, and I knew that they had their house listed with another agent. So I did the right thing. And I said, you need to talk with your agent. Well, next thing I know, they called me back and, and wanted me to, to take over that listing. So then I started asking questions. Okay. Well, you know, what did we do? What things can we do that are different to, to help you guys out? And one of the things that came up was communication. They never heard anything about any listing appointments. Uh, their agent was not keeping them up to date on the processes. And when things are slow, when or, you know, for, for a homeowner or a home seller, when things seem slow, it's very important to, to communicate with them to, I mean, if there's nothing going on, at least there seems like there's something going on. So you need to always be, be marketing. Uh, they're looking, they are looking, if you're on Facebook, they're on Facebook, they're looking to see if you're marketing their home. And if you're not, then they're thinking, hmm, I may need another agent. That's how I, I received this listing. Not just because I do the videos, which that obviously helped. That's how they knew me in the first place. But this other agent not communicating well with them made these sellers look at a different agent. And mind you, this is not even a market that I've ever actually worked. It's about 30, 30 minutes, 45 minutes outside of a uh, main market that I work in North Texas. And the funny thing is just a few days later after putting up my sign, I get another call and it's, it's, it's within less than a mile away is another homeowner that has had their house on the market previously. They canceled it a couple months ago before the winter season, but they had it listed for a few months no action whatsoever. So they also they also found me on, a, on YouTube and loved the way that I market on different social media sites. Of course, they did all their research on me and found me everywhere and, and they loved what I did there. So once they called me, we we started talking. Same thing, I'm asking why, why did, why did you terminate? You know, ask all the questions. And once again, communication. There was zero communication between them and their and their listing agent, and uh, so they decided to take it off the market. They didn't feel like they were gaining any traction and wanted to go a different route. Uh, so they started researching different real estate agents uh, in the area. Somehow, some way, I kept popping up. They said, even though, like I said, 30, 45 minutes away. So here we are, listing these two homes. Uh, they, you know, with the two homes together, uh, we're looking at, you know over eight hundred thousand dollars worth worth of listings right there these listings cost me zero marketing cost yeah so posting videos here on youtube posting videos on facebook instagram linkedin cost me zero cost me time but zero out of my pocket and i did not solicit these clients for listings i didn't have to send out postcards i didn't have to door knock anything like that just doing videos so very important to do those videos as I always talk about. And speaking of that, make sure you check out these videos here and hit that subscribe button. 
because I talk about real estate every week and these videos are all to help you as a newer agent. So hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you next time.